Hello, I'm Steve Berger with Rainbow International Restoration of Northeast Kansas. We're here at Murphy's Furniture Service in historic downtown Lawrence that was damaged by a fire recently. We've come a long way with Mike Murphy, the owner of the facility here, and we're ready to show you the steps of how we got here. Rainbow International Restoration of Northeast Kansas has been contracted by the building owner to get his building put back together and get him back in business as quickly as possible. A lot of the contents that were in here were not salvageable, but the ones that were, we've taken them back to our facility to clean and deodorize and bring back when the building is ready. We constantly update the owner of the building to ensure that he or she is comfortable with the process that's going on, that there's no surprises, and they know what's going on and what's next. We work closely with the owner and the insurance adjusters to make sure that we get the project completed promptly and within budget. First step in the process is securing the necessary permits from the city to do the work that we need to get done. The next step is we start the demolition process, which includes removing any smoke damaged and fire damaged materials in the building, deodorizing to ensure that the smoke odor will not come back. Fast forward to demolition day. As you can see, our technician is covered with a Tyvek bodysuit, has his full face respirator on, has his gloves on, to ensure that he doesn't take the soot and grime home with him at night, and also to make sure that his lungs stay healthy and his respiratory system is in great shape at the end of the project. Our technician is currently taking down the drywall in the back portion of the building, and as you can see, it's exposed some of the insulation and vapor barrier that's underneath there. That will have to come out eventually because of the odor that would be trapped in there if we were to just wallboard over that. As you can see in the building, the ceiling has been taken down, the wall coverings have been removed, the lap and plaster has been taken out. As you can see, we replaced the ceiling, which was beadboard and lath and plaster, with new drywall. We added a mezzanine, which the owner wanted for additional storage. We were able to accomplish that. We also moved the furnace up off of the floor and suspended it from the ceiling, which gained about 20 square feet of floor space. We've recoated the floor to make sure that it's uh, slip proof. We uncovered some of the windows on the front of the building. The top transom windows had been blocked off some years ago, and the owner wanted to make sure that he had as much natural light in the building as possible. We paint, we clean, and we hand the keys back to a satisfied customer as quickly as possible. The, the most impressive probably was when, the, uh, when we walked out of here and it was all black. And we came back in after they had sealed up the walls and primed it. Everything was white and bright and open and uh, it, it really improved to a thousand percent. Rainbow International Restoration of Northeast Kansas prides ourselves on using local talent during these types of projects. And we think, along with Mike, that he has a pretty fantastic facility at this point. And his guys are very excited to get back to work. Again, I'm Steve Berger with Rainbow International Restoration of Northeast Kansas. We restore, you recover. For more information, call us 24-7 at 785-371-2400.